All right, so you have assembled your team, you've put a plan together, and you've identified a niche. But the big question is, do you need a partner? And you're thinking about it, you feel more comfortable that you should have a partner, but you're not sure if you should. And the answer to that is maybe. Maybe you need a partner, but maybe not. There's really two types of investors that truly benefit from a partner. First one is the person who has a lot of money but no knowledge or experience. This person has worked, has saved a lot, but maybe has never even fixed a toilet, has never de dealt with a tenant, and hasn't ever bought a property or sold a property other than their own home. These people have a lot of money they want to invest and they want to invest in real estate and they believe in real estate, but they really don't know where to begin. This person probably needs to partner with a person who has a lot of knowledge and experience. They're going to help them not make mistakes and lose money. The other type of investor that can benefit from having a partner is the exact opposite. The person who has a lot of experience and knowledge but no or very little money. These include people who have done remodeling their whole lives, real estate agents who have sold dozens or even hundreds of houses, um, and it could also include property managers or people who have managed properties, part of a larger company, who know everything about managed property management. These people have a lot of experience in real estate to differ, different degrees, but maybe they haven't saved a lot of money. Now you can see clearly the benefit is for a person with a lot of money to find a person with a lot of experience but no money. This is the perfect partnership or sometimes a group of people who have uh, complementing levels of experience and money who can work together. But there's some people out there who have no money and no experience. You may be one of them. I was one of them when I started. Now what do they do? Well, you don't want to partner with a person with a lot of money because you have no experience. You're not bringing anything to the table. And you're not going to be able to partner with a person with a lot of experience because you have no money. You have nothing to bring to the table. The reality is you have nothing to bring to the partnership. So nobody will want to partner with you. So what you need is education or a mentor first, not a partner. You need to be able to get somebody to teach you what they know so that you can bring that knowledge to the table and that's what you bring to the table. Now another thing to think about with partnerships is partnerships are like marriage. See when things are going well nobody's really thinking about it but when things go bad it's really messy and it can be difficult or even impossible to untangle the mess. Think about what happens if you own a long-term rental with a person and the partnership falls apart. What do you do? You could sell the property and split any money, but what if the market's turned and you're underwater on the property? Or what if it's paying you $1,000 a month and you need your half? You don't want to sell it. Or any number of other things. Who manages it in this situation if you no longer want to work together? So partnering, especially in a long-term deal, comes with a lot of risks. Uh, usually people want to start partnering on shorter-term deals or they really need an ironclad document that protects ever, the people involved. So you need to make sure that you're protecting yourself and you want to bring something to the table so that you're not taking advantage of other people. So identify what category you're in and then see where you need to go and if you should have a partnership or not.